What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and I thought about putting this on my kind of more politics-type channel, Midwestly, but uh, because it deals with a call to deplatform, it makes more sense to put it on my main channel. Topics like this, by the way, you can find on my Midwestly channel, which I'll leave linked in the description below. I had to take a month off because of a uh, strike for uh, getting too close to the truth, but I'm back uploading daily to there. So if you want, check that out. I noticed Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez uh, was on a hilarious meltdown, like immense cope. And so I saw a lot of retweets of this particular tweet, which I thought was pretty interesting coming from, uh, you know, such a strong independent women who don't need no man. She writes... I genuinely want to know why Tucker Carlson is allowed slash paid to engage in clear, targeted, liableless harassment that endangers people and drives so many threats that people have to fundraise for their own safety. Why should they have to pay for his harassment? Make it make sense. This is a call for deplatforming. That's what that is. <clears throat> it's Tucker Carlson is an expert troll. He uh, is probably the best thing going on, on the right in, ter in terms of like entertainment value. He's more editorial than straight news, I think, but he's funny. Um, there are people on the left that can be funny too. I just haven't seen them in a long time since maybe Jon Stewart. Nowadays, everyone's just so angry all the time. They have to do this particular type of thing. She continues. It's not within the realm of political commentary, and it's not just me. He regularly targets people that do not have access to the resource for protection. Once he gets to fantasize about booty calls of women on national TV, I cease to see the political value of incitement. Now, let's, let's see just how... Brutal, this particular booty call references. This must be really awful. Must be must be really awful for Alexandria Ocasio Cortez to be this angry. Let's see, let's see if we can if, uh, Fox will let us play the clip. Me to retire. By the way, the person who wrote this didn't even perceive how creepy it was. I'm alone today, Ocasio Cortez says pointedly at the camera. Is it just us, or does that sound like an invitation to a booty call? Maybe one step from, what are you wearing? Either way, it's a little strange. It's definitely oversharing. That's it. That's the comment Tucker Carlson made that has Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez absolutely melting down. I don't even understand it. She's this mad. And by the way, if you're one of these 51,000 losers, reevaluate re your life. Look, I don't like politicians. And let me be very clear on either side of the aisle. If you think they genuinely care about you at the, at the, like the federal level, you're just wrong. At the local level, I've, I think that there's a lot of good that is done by a lot of people. This is why I encourage people so much. You know, it's easy to feel a lot of doom and gloom when the only thing you do is consume like global politics or politics from these fear factories like Fox and CNN. But if you want like a white pill, get involved in local politics where the things you're arguing about is how many slides to put at the park for the kids. Whether or not the gas station can have a sign that is eight feet instead of nine feet. They seem trivial to you, maybe. With everything going on, with our, our current leader wagging the dog with Russia. But these are the things that actually affect your life every single day. How many ice cream cones Joe Biden gets is a, a meme. Uh, it's it's funny, you know, to, to poke fun at. But if, it, if you let it make you angry, maybe just take a step back and think about, like, what can you do locally? Can you, can you get involved in like a river cleanup or can you donate time? If you don't have time, can you donate money to local projects? 
Can you sit on your sound sets your your town's treasury board? Are you a part of a stupid uh, homeowners association? Get on that board. You know, get involved in things that actually affect your life every single day. Yes, the big things are worth considering, but at the local level of politics, you get actual change instead of this bloviating. And 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 she, I mean, make no mistake about it. She is literally demanding he gets removed from TV. And this is just a full, do full okay, so she melted down last night, and now she continued the meltdown this morning. Any man who talks like this will treat any woman like this. He made a joke. A joke. Here's the thing. She knows that. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez knows that Tucker Carlson is making a joke here. But what she's doing is playing her role. The victim. She can't roll with the joke because that would acknowledge that she's capable of understanding jokes. He gets to joke about you. He gets to make, guess what? May not like him. I may not want to do him, but personal digs at you. You're an elected official. Anybody who thinks that you deal with any level of oppression is an absolute idiot. You are an elected official sitting in Washington, D.C. Tell me again about how you're oppressed. Spending my tax dollars to fly around the country and buy expensive clothes and, and take photo ops against uh, in parking lots and pretend like there's a bunch of migrants on the other side, even, there, even though there isn't. By the way, both sides of the aisle do this with our money. Doesn't matter if you're Republican, Democrat, or neither. This is clearly not a safe person to leave with alone with women. So let me be clear. You're upset that he made a joke about you saying that you're alone. Um... And so you call him a predator. You do the same thing. If you're one of these 57,000 morons, she's doing the same thing. Oh, go down a street. You go down a, a, a tweet. Another tweet about the exact same tweet. This is the type of stuff you say when your name starts with P and ends with Deho. So she calls him a, a, a naughty word. Again, she's entitled to do that. But. She doesn't then get to whine and complain about him doing it. We'll take a look at this other clip because, again, she's taking his statements here at absolute face value, but she knows it's a joke. He's calling her Karen. The funniest of all was hearing Sandy Cortez describe herself as a woman of color. She often does. No one ever dares to challenge that description, but every honest person knows it is hilariously absurd. There is no place on earth outside of American colleges and newsrooms where Sandy Cortez would be recognized as a, quote, woman of color because she's not. I would agree with that, actually. Like, woman of color. She's not. She's just not. I mean, like, it, it is a woke term, uh, and that's what he's pointing out. Like, she's one of the most powerful people in America. And that should scare you. She's a rich, entitled white lady. She's the pampered, obnoxious ski bunny in the matching snowsuit who tells you to pull up your mask while you're standing in the lift line at Jackson Hole. They're all the same. doesn't matter what shade they are. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. So what's her reaction? Calls him the P word. The idea that, and then of course the mainstream media just loves it because they hate Tucker because again, I'm no Tucker simp. I don't watch his show every night. I enjoy clips here and there, but also like his viewership is massive compared to any of these other clown shows. AOC slams Tucker Carlson as trash after he calls her a rich white lady. She does act like a rich white lady. She wears expensive clothes. She takes, she goes to the Met Gala in expensive dresses. And you have insider Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez calls Tucker Carlson a creep. These, by the way, these, by the way, are all things okay. What I have a problem with is her 
She's right up on the line. Right up on the line. Of At least she's at minimum demanding he be fired, right? I genuinely want to know why he is allowed slash paid to, to say words I don't like. All the rest of the stuff she says after that, just translate it to words she doesn't like. Because that's what it is. Exactly who has had to start a GoFundMe to survive Tucker Carlson making fun of them? Does it exist? I don't see you linking to it. And all these clowns in the comments like, deplatform him, sue him, blah, 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 blah. Do it. Do it, Alexandria. Sue Fox News. See how that goes for you. And again, this is coming from a woman who calls him the P-word, who calls him trash, who, who insinuates that he's uh, not safe to be alone with women. These are the same things she's saying, but he's not the one saying, oh, well, she shouldn't be allowed to be platformed and have an opinion that I don't like. There's no doubt in my mind that if Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez weighed 250 pounds, she would never have been elected in the first place. You can disagree with me, and that's fine. But if she was, uh, she didn't have her looks, she would never have been elected in the first place. And I'll tell you why. It's not because women, because I think there's plenty of smart women in politics. It's that her ideas are garbage. They're just packaged up in a pretty lady. So people think it's less harmful. People think it's less scary. Why don't you go look at some of the nations where her ideology runs them and see how they're doing. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.